Good morning. It is good to, amen, be alive. Amen. We thank God for another day, and we thank Him for, amen, His mercy and His grace He has showered down upon us. And we thank Him for the rain this morning. Amen. Even though it's a little warm, kind of humid, but God rains on the just and the unjust. Amen. Have He rained on you this week? Amen. Some morning say He keep pouring out blessings after blessings keep on coming our way. This morning as we gather here this morning, amen. I want to thank God for y'all, you and you this morning who uh, made it back to this house of worship one more time. This morning, amen. We know that God is everywhere. We know that, amen, it's nothing that God cannot do for us. This morning, we are gathered to worship him in spirit and in truth. Because God deserves all the praise and all the glory. Amen. So this morning we're going to get started. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask Brother Shaq to give us our open. We are so glad to have him back this morning. Amen. Amen. And I told him this morning we've been praying for him. Amen. We know it's tough when you lose a loved one. Amen. And so this morning he's back. And I just want to thank God for giving him strength to make it back. Amen to the amen keyboard this morning. And our drummer, Amari, also is with us. Amen. We just thank God for these young men. Let us continue to lift them up. Uh, because Jesus has said if we lift him up, amen, he will draw. And so this morning we thank God for them. And so this morning we're going to get started. Amen. Exile open, and then we we'll have our prayer. Amen. And scripture for the morning.
Amen. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Amen. I promise. Amen. That. Amen. I will hold out. Amen. You know we make promises every day. Amen. And let me tell you, if you make a promise to God, amen, God will help you to keep that promise. Amen. Everybody know that he will help you? God want to help us every step of the way. And so we thank God because, amen, we promise to him to hold out. He will, amen, see to it that we can hold out to the perfect end. Amen. To God be the glory. Shall we pray? God, we thank you. We love you. We come into your presence with thanksgiving and praises in our hearts. Lord, we thank you for one more opportunity. Oh God, to gather at this Bethel spot where prayers, songs have been made and need to be made again. God, we come this morning with joy on the inside. We come with thanksgiving. We've come, Lord, looking to you, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we thank you for bringing us out this morning back to this house of worship. God, we thank you for keeping us safe all through the week. We thank you, Lord, for how you carried us and how you, God, put us under your wings of protection. God, we just want to lift you up and we just want to tell you how thankful we are this morning that God, you did what you did for us. Nobody else could have did what you did. So God, we are gathered here this morning, Lord, to tell you, God, how much we love you. God, we know you love us. Even when, Lord, we don't love ourselves, we know, God, you love us. And so, God, we thank you. Thank you for sharing and spreading your love around us, and not only us, but around the globe this morning. Because you know there's somebody, Lord, need loving. And this morning, God, we know that your love is so great, that God, so, so great that God, no man, no man can put, Lord, a price on it. So, God, we just say thank you. Thank you for loving us just as we are. We know, God, we have messed up. We have done things, Lord, wrong and contrary this week. But, Lord, we pray this morning that you will forgive us. We ask that you forgive us and blot out all our iniquities in creating us clean hearts and renew a right spirit within us. Lord, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the ring you have sent us. And we thank you, Lord, because, Lord, you know what we need, when we need it, and how much we need. So, God, we just praise you right now in this place. We praise you, God, for, God, your people this morning. Those that, Lord, Lord, thought it was not robbery. Oh, God, to, Lord, just sleep in this morning. But, Lord, they came out. They took the time, and, oh, God, they got dressed and, and they made it away, made their way out to this house of worship one more time. Lord, we just say thank you because we know, God, you have a blessing for us. We know that, God, you have, Lord, blessings in the hem of your garment. Lord, we ask that you continue, Lord, to look down upon, oh God, our world. Help us, Lord, and help us, oh God. Lord, to look up to you from whence cometh our help. We know all our help come from the Lord. We pray for churches gathering around the world, around the globe today. We pray for those that will come together and brother and sister. In love. Help them to realize that, God, we are more than conquerors. And when we come together, Lord, help us, oh God, not to look on our own, but help us to look toward you and you only. God, we just say thank you right now. We praise you for those who could not come this morning. Those that who just forgotten this morning. Lord, thank you, God, for grace and mercy. For your grace and mercy brought us safe this far. Now, Lord, have your way in this service this morning. Use us for your glory, Lord. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will, God, speak a word, Lord. Speak your word to us, Lord. And God, that we will have ears to hear what you have to say to us. Now, Lord, 
Now, Lord, when we can't pray, Lord, when we can't, Lord, come together. We ask God that that will, God, you will give us a home so in your kingdom. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. good to be in the hands of the Lord. We thank God for, amen, the songs this morning. We thank him for the prayer. Most of all, we thank him for his mercy and grace. This morning, I'd like to read, us to read uh, from the scripture this morning, Matthew, the fourth chapter. Matthew, the fourth chapter. Amen. And I want us to look, begin at verse 
Amen 18. I want us to begin at verse 18. Matthew, the fourth chapter. Amen. Amen. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea. And they were fishermen, fishermen, fishers, and he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from tents, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called them, Amen. And they immediately, hallelujah, he called them and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. Amen. Amen. God's word. Amen for God's people. This morning, I want to lift up from this text uh, this thought, uh, uh, this question. Uh, are you following Jesus? Are you following Jesus? Amen. Now, we all know in life, my brothers and sisters, and especially, amen, these days that we live in, that everyone is following someone else. Amen. We see this, amen, all across, amen, the world. Amen. We see people following different people every day. Well, some of the famous people, as I was going over this text this week, looking at it, I say, people are following so many other people. People falling after Oprah. Anybody been falling Oprah lately? Amen. A lot of people falling Ellen. A lot of people falling Beyonce. Hello, somebody. People falling Denzel Washington. Amen. Jay Z. Amen. My brothers and sisters, and the list can go on. But everybody, my brothers and sisters, want to follow somebody. It's nothing wrong with following other people, but we need to know that my brothers and sisters, when we follow them, we must know that all of us are human. And humans, we fall, we make mistakes. My brothers and sisters, but I come to tell you this morning, the text says, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea. Why? Because they were fishers. And he said to them, Follow me. Now Jesus is more, part, more important than Beyonce and Jay-Z and Oprah and all the rest of them. Uh, Jesus said, I want you to come and follow me. Hello. Amen. When we come to follow Jesus, you can't go wrong. But if you follow Jay-Z and the rest of them, uh, you can go wrong. They can lead you down the wrong path. But I stopped to tell you this morning, my brothers and sisters, you, need, you and I need to follow Jesus. Because Jesus, amen, can lead us, 
And he can guide us. He can protect us. My brothers and sisters, he can build a fence around us. He can do for us what no person on this earth could do. Not even President, amen, Obama, neither President, amen, of the United States, amen, this morning, can do what Jesus can do. We know, amen, Trump have power, but he don't have all power. Amen. But we need to follow Jesus. Why? Because our world is in, amen, an uproar. Miss, my brothers and sisters, when you follow the wrong source, amen, it will lead you, amen, away from God. Not to God, but away from God. Just look at what is going on in our world today. How people are following, amen, the wrong source. But I stop to tell you there is some good news. When you follow Jesus, my brothers and sisters, he'll take you through. Anybody know that he'll take you through it? He'll take you through, amen, the, the, the high waters and the low waters. He'll take you through the high mountains and the low valleys. This morning, I thank God because this morning, if we are following Jesus, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you, it's not going to be sunshine every day. It's not going to be, amen, raining every day. But let me tell you, you've got to have some, amen, rain in your life, some time to appreciate the sunshine. you got to know that when rain come in your life, my brothers and sisters, you got to know that, amen, we can turn to God and know that God is a giver and a protector. He will give you the desires of your heart. He will protect us even when storms and rain start coming down in our lives. Have he protected anybody this week? Yes, my brothers and sisters. It is raining this morning, and when I got up, I, I told the Lord, I said, thank you, because, amen, the devil is at work. The devil says it's a good day to just lay in and relax today. Hallelujah. Amen. You ain't got to go today. Amen. Just lay down. It's raining outside. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, if you want what God has for you, you got to make up your mind. you got to have a willing desire. Lord, I'm going, going to follow you. Wherever you lead me, I will follow. Yes, my brothers and sisters, you're going to have rain. You're going to have trouble. You're going to have ups and downs in life. You're going to have pains. You're going to have trials and tribulations. But the Bible says, what? Be of good cheer. Why? I overcome and you will overcome. I know, my brothers and sisters, as I say, we are following different, amen, celebrities, amen, in our day and time. Yes, I look at love sports. I played football. I played, ran track. And oh, I, I just love, amen, sports. Football and, amen, baseball. Love those games. I want to be like, amen, Shaq, I want to be like, amen, Drabah, I want to be like, amen, those, amen, who are in the limelight. But let me tell you, everybody can't be in the limelight. But God wants us to be, amen, who he wants us to be. He wants us to be people who desire, who hunger and thirst after righteousness. And when we hunger and thirst as the righteous brothers and sisters, God will. He will answer. He will answer your prayer. He will, amen, give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Anybody know that he can turn it around for you? Amen. If you will, amen, follow him and not follow the world. The world will carry us down the tube. It will carry us down the tube, I tell you. Just look at what is happening today. So many people following the wrong source. We cannot follow all a man's way. 
But we got to know that the Bible says in all our ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Amen. God will direct your path. Amen. Early in the morning, late in the midnight, he'll direct your path. Amen. As you go through the jungles, you go through trials and tribulations in life. God will protect you. He will guide you. And I know he will not only guide you, but he will keep you. Well, let's look at the first thing. The author of this text is the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Matthew. Now, uh, he wants you and I to realize that Matthew was different from the other disciples. Jesus called to follow him who were rugged fishermen. Amen. Look at Matthew the ninth chapter. Amen. In your leisure time, Matthew the ninth chapter, verse 19 through 13. And you will learn that Matthew was in fact a Jewish tax collector, a despised member of society. He, my brothers and sisters, was hated by the Romans who only used use him for the for them because he, amen, didn't know. And he did know. I tell you, God had something for Matthew to do. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, God can use any of us, whether you're a tax collector, amen, a garbage worker, whatever you are this morning, God has a way of using you. Yes, Matthew was a Jewish tax collector and a despised member of the society. Yes, he was hated. He was hated. Anybody been hated lately? Have you been hated when you're trying to do the will of the master? God promised us he will, amen, shield us and protect us. God promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. He promised us, my brothers and sisters, that whatever we need, he has it. If you need money, God say, I have money. I own all the silver and gold. Whatever you need, amen, just call on God. Seek God and God will. He'll answer your prayer. Matthew left his collection and he left his desk to follow Jesus. But Jesus, he followed Jesus but held a dinner. Jesus held a dinner party with, amen, people Amen. That he had great influence on. Jesus want us to know that my brothers and sisters, whatever you are going through, whatever, amen, you are up in right doing right now in your life. Remember that God have a purpose for your life. God wants you to know that he wants you to speak and he wants you to know that you can speak for him in times like these. I come to tell somebody this morning that, amen, if you are following Jesus, Jesus have a plan. Amen. Man don't have a plan, but Jesus have a plan. I come to tell you his plan will work. His plan will see you through. Do I have any witness? Yes. I don't know who you are following this morning, but I come to tell you, if you're not following Jesus, you're following the wrong source. Amen. So, as we look at this text, Matthew, and look at some followers, some followers you may have heard about. In the fourth chapter, Jesus called on some brothers. Amen. This morning, Simon and Andrew. Then two other brothers, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. The Bible say they all left their works to follow Jesus. Follow Jesus? How did they follow Jesus? Well, I'm glad you asked me. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters, you need to know this morning about following Jesus. Number one, you must be available. Hello, somebody. I say you must be available. Now we know Christ. Now to know Christ, you must study. You and I must study his word. Amen. Listen. 
we tell people it was a good day at church, but can't remember the sermon. Hallelujah. We had a good time at church. That's all. We had a good time. Well, what did the preacher preach about? Well, I don't know. I forgot now. But let me tell you, we got to study his word. Amen. If we want to get closer and you want God to get closer, you got to study. Hallelujah. You got to open it. Even when you don't feel like it sometimes, you got to make a sacrifice. You say, I know I got to open up the word, God, because the word will have something to say to me. The word will feed my hungry soul when I get weak. Hallelujah. You know how it is when you get hungry, you eat, don't you? Amen. When you're hungry, you go, you get, we'll go and get some need. Well, my brothers and sisters, God wants us to get hungry for his word. If we hunger and thirst at the righteousness, the Bible said what? We shall be filled. Hello, somebody. Yes, my brothers and sisters, God wants us to be available. Availability is, amen, needed today. So many people say, I love the Lord. Amen, I'm on the Lord's side. But they're never available. How can you say you love the Lord and you're never available, amen, to do something good for the Lord? Jesus saw something in those boys, those men. God saw something in them. They were fishermen. Yeah, they know how to fish, but they didn't know how to fish for souls. And God was going to teach them a lesson. Hallelujah. Miss Go, amen. Thank you, Miss Go. Hallelujah. You are a fisherman. Oh, fisherman and your fishermen are people's souls. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you, God can take the little that we have in our hand. And God can multiply. Amen. He can take one fish. <laughs> and he can, he can feed a thousand. <laughs> Somebody say, how, how can he do that, Pastor? Well, that, he's God. God can do everything, can he? Amen. And when you put it in the hands of God, God can, amen, turn it around. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. I thank God this morning. How, how do I know? Because one day I came available to God. God saw me, amen, walking down the street. God saw me out in left field, but I heard him call me by my name one day, God. And I say, God, I, 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 I'm your child. God, I, I'm available today. What, what will you have me to do? God want us, amen, to be available. He want us to turn loose some stuff, turn loose the worldly stuff, and amen, turn to God. And God will, he will open up a door for you. God will amen bless you abundantly God will give you the desires of your heart do I have any witness today when you make yourself available to God God will make himself available to you but I come to tell you this morning I know what God has for me and what God has for me is for me I don't know about you but if you want the goodness of God if you want him to bless you you gotta make yourself available Somebody say you got to give up something to get something. And God got something good for us, church. Hallelujah. I'm so glad he lifted me. Aren't you glad he lifted you? Yes. God say, take my hand. Follow me. I'll show you. I'll show you how to live. I'll show you how to treat one another. I'll show you not to hate. But all you got to do is make yourself available. I want you to read my word. I want you to dig deep. You got to go into the word. You got to hunger and thirst after the word of God. You say, God, I need your word today. I'm going out in a mean world. I'm going out with some evil people. And God, I want you to guide me. I want you to keep me safe in your arms. Let me tell you, he will do it. How do I know I tried it? Every day I go out. I go out and I come back in. Why? Because God is with me. He is with you. He's with us every turn that you and I turn. He's every, with us every step that we take. 
Yes, but we got to make ourselves available. But we must remember also, my brothers and sisters, remember our service to God is not dependent on our ability, but on our availability. Hello, somebody. Think about this. David was small, but look what David did. You know, he was a small, you know, David was a small fella. But David slayed, what, a giant. Hello, somebody. Yo, did y'all catch that? I said, David, you may be small to the world and to people. But look what David did. David is an example. David was small. But look what he did. He, he, he slew the giant. Hello. <laughs> David slew the giant. Devil was just a judge. But it was her influence that helped to find and kill the enemy, not Barak, the soldier. Moses was not an eloquent speaker, but yet he led a nation to freedom. My brothers and sisters, it's your availability that count this morning. There is a quote from Amen, the word of God. God want us, just don't be able, but God want us to be available. He want us to be available, amen, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. He want us to be available, amen, to follow him. And when we follow him, he'll take you higher. Anybody want to go higher this morning? I want to go higher in the Lord. Hallelujah. So be available. We got to follow Jesus. Number two, you must be teachable. Amen. You must learn the word. The word will become your strength and shield. Do I have a witness this morning? I said the word will become your shield and strength. You know how it is when the enemy start throwing darts at you. Hallelujah, you got to know that you got a shield of God around you. God will shield you from your enemy. God will protect you. Have you protected anybody lately? Have you did for you when you were down and your back was up against the wall? God, throw this shield of protect around you. And you were able to go on down the road and see what the end will be like. Do I have a witness? My brothers and sisters. Yes. We must. Be teachable. The word. Will become your strength and shield. It will light your path. And it will bring you comfort. And joy. My brothers and sisters. Not only comfort and joy. It will illuminate your mind. Hallelujah. Have God's word illuminate your mind this week? Hallelujah. I, know, I don't know about you, but it illuminate me. When I dig into it and when I, I hung and thirst out, I say, God, what are you trying to tell me yet? God say, just, 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 just stay in the word. Just keep reading it. Just keep meditating. Just keep asking the Lord, Lord, show me the way. God will show you the way. He will fill your soul with joy on the inside. My brothers and sisters, and let me tell you, when you got that joy of the Lord on your side, no man can take it away from you. Hallelujah. I say it will illuminate your mind. But it can do any of these things, my brothers and sisters, if, if we will allow ourselves to be teachable. You know, I know the doors of the churches. Now we can't go back inside, but let me tell you, your lessons are important. Sunday school is important. Amen. Thank God we got all this technology today. There's no excuses. People say, well, we ain't going to church this morning, so I ain't got to study my lesson. Let me tell you, that's a lie. Satan is a lie. He don't want you to study. But you got to make yourself available. Say, you know what? I got to take some time out. 
God, because I want to be teachable. I want to know, God, what you, your plan is for my life. The devil want us to play church. God don't want us to play. He wants us to know the truth. Why? Because the truth will set you free. God knows. He told us that in this world you're going to have trouble and trial. He, he told us that for a reason. And you say, I ain't got to study. I ain't got to read my lesson. Amen. I got the shield of God on. That's all you got on. But you got to have on something else beside the shield. You got to have on the whole arm of God. Because the devil, he is a fighter. He, he's not a quitter. He's a fighter. He come to seek, kill, and what? Destroy. So Jesus want us to study the word. Not just on Sunday. Weekly. Amen. We ought to study the word during the middle of the week. We ought to study the word when we arrive. Amen. When we, amen, are on our job. Because, let me tell you, the word will keep your mind. Amen. Stay it on Jesus. You don't have to know the whole Bible. Hallelujah. When you're at peace with the Lord, God will send angels around you to protect you. You don't have to know from A to Z, but all you got to do is say, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Hallelujah. Satan will back up. <laughs> say, this boy, this child is calling on the name of the Lord. Anybody know when you call on the name of the Lord? God will. He'll show up. Yes, he will, and he'll show out. All you got to do is say, the Lord is my shepherd, yes. and I shall not want. Yes, sir. If he's your shepherd, my brothers and sisters, he'll give you what you need. Amen at the right time. The good news, my brothers and sisters, is that the word of God is, is, is fresh every day. It's, it's fresh. It, the, the word of God never stales. It never stales. You know, bread and stuff, you let it set out, it gets stale. Well, our lives get stale when we don't have the bread, the word of God embedded in our souls and embedded in our life. We get stale. And when stuff is stale, it's, it's, it's no good to you. Hallelujah. It gets stale or stagnated. And it never, ever really is good. Amen. Again, do I have a witness? My brothers and sisters, I've heard, and you and I have heard the story of the birth of Christ since we were babies. We heard that Jesus is coming back again. He's coming back looking for the church without spot or wrinkle. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, I count it all joy. Because when you know that you are following the right source, amen, no matter what mountains, amen, the devil put in your way, amen, remember that God is higher and he's bigger than any mountain. Do I have a witness? Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, if we stop trying to do it by ourselves and lean on God's word, God will show us how, amen, to wait on the Lord and be patient. Because God wants us to learn that they that wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. So, my brothers and sisters, when you're going through life, remember, amen, that we must be available. We must be teachable. And number three, we, then we must be flexible. Some of us are set in our own ways. And unmovable. Hello, somebody. I say some of us are set in our own ways and unmovable. As a child of God and a follower of Christ, you will have to be flexible. Flexible. And that means you are able to what? Be in. And respond when God is calling you. Have God called you this week 
to do something. Amen. You got to be prepared. Don't say, God, I, I, I don't have time. I, I'm not, not, not available right now. But God said, I want you to be flexible. Mm -hmm. Able to be in. Uh, my brothers and sisters, because Jesus uh, is calling right now. He's calling sinners to come. He's calling you and I. Amen. To hold up the banner for the, for the Lord. You may have your whole week planned, but God has another plan for you. Sometimes we think our plans are more important than God's plan, but I stop to tell you, God's plan is the most, plans are the most important plans one could ever have. Amen. Some of us, some of us stay stuck in our rut. Amen. We stay stuck, stuck in our rut of stubbornness. We glue to our plans. Amen. We want to do what we want to do. You know, sometimes you, when we're in the church, we want to do what we want to do. We want to sing what we want to sing. Hello, somebody. Talk to me. I want to sing my song. I, I, I want to sing this song. But, but it's not your song, but it's it's all about God. God said it's about me. Yeah, he'll give you a song, but God said I want you to praise me. I want you to be, be teachable. I want you to be available. I want you to know that I got the whole world in my hand. Do I have a witness? My brothers and sisters, if we are flexible, we'll bend. We'll bend. I don't care what kind of weak you go through. God will, amen, help you. God will, amen, give you strength. If we are, if we are flexible, when the choir director call you to sing, amen, sing. Are you to pray? Pray. God wants us to be flexible when it comes to falling, amen, Jesus. And that's what God wanted these boys to be, flexible. I want you to follow me. If we follow Jesus, amen, my brothers and sisters, when we follow Jesus, be ready to go the extra mile. Amen. Number four, I know the plans I have for you. And lastly, he said, I know the plans I have for you. God knows the plans that he has for all of our lives. God's, lastly, he said, be dependable. Yes, you can count on me. The song said, count on me. Can the Lord count on you this morning? Can he count on you when trouble come in your pathway? I say, can he count on you when the load get heavy? Can he count on your church this morning? Amen. To lift him up. And if we lift him up, he said, I'll do what no other man can do. I'll give you strength where you don't have strength. Do I have a witness this morning? He knows the plan for every one of us this morning. Yes, I don't know who you're depending on this morning. But I hope you are depending on Jesus. Because... He need us, amen, to do, amen, his work, his work here on earth. Yes, he said, I'll take care of you. I won't forget you. God will make a way and he will, amen, hold us in the hollow of his hand. If you make a commitment to him, God will make a commitment to you. We got to continue to love one another. We got to continue to encourage one another. We got to continue to lift each other up and not tear one another down. Am I right about it? We should, my brothers and sisters, pray together. We should not only pray together, but we ought to praise together. We ought to not only praise together, we will prosper together. 
whatever position you serve in God's house uh, this morning, whatever position, amen, that God put you in, you ought to be dependable. Do I have a witness? Amen. If you're a trustee, you ought to be dependable. If you're a choir member, you ought to be dependable. If you are a usher, you ought to be dependable. Do I have a witness this morning? Uh, but I come to tell you this morning, we got so many undependable people in the body of Christ. Uh, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to wait. I'm going to sit on my comfortable seat. But I stop to tell you, God didn't call us to be comfortable. God want us to get up sometimes and be dependable. I say, you can count on me, Pastor. I'll be here. I'll be a servant for the Lord. I'll go to to the house of the Lord, and and I'll hear the word of God. I'll I'll keep record, Amen, for the church. I'll be a good clerk. I'll be a good secretary. I'll be a good doorkeeper. Amen. I'll be a dependable person. I don't want to let God down, but I want to lift him up because God has been a dependable God. He, he lifted us up this week. He did what nobody else could do. We see in this scripture that Matthew was all those things. He was available. Anybody want to be available today? All you got to do is say, God, I'm going to make up my mind. I want you to be the head of my life. And when he's the head of your life, you become available right then. God wants somebody in his kingdom to be available on Sunday. Not on just on Sunday, but I need you to be available during the week. On Monday, be available to reach out and touch somebody. Be available uh, to teach somebody. Uh, be flexible uh, to help somebody. Uh, be dependable. Uh, amen. Because somebody need a helping hand. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, as I close this morning, uh, God will. Uh, God will. Uh, the Bible says he will separate uh, the sheep from the goats. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, you and I have been called out. We have to step out on faith. I know, I know, if you step out on faith, God will, he'll catch you. When you think you're falling, God will, he'll reach out and catch you by your hand. Have he caught your hand lately? Have he did anything for you lately? You ought to praise him. You ought to tell him thank you. Thank you, God. Because, God, I'm following you. And you told me if I follow you, God, the road won't be easy all the time. I'll have some ups and downs. I'll have some trials and tribulations. But through it all, through it all, I learned how to trust in the Lord. Anybody learn how to trust in the Lord? Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. How you know, Pastor? I tried him early this morning when he woke me up. I told him, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me through another week's journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Who are you falling this morning? Who are you falling? Don't follow man because man have no hell or heaven to put you in. You need to follow Jesus. And this morning, before I close, I want to give you an invitation. Those of you who are not have never followed Jesus. And those of you who have dropped away from following Jesus, Jesus said, all you got to do is turn. Turn from your wicked ways.
Draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. Some of us, we know where we are. And some of us don't know where we are. But today is a good day to know who you are following. Are you following the right one or the wrong one? If you are not following Christ, you're following the wrong one. And so today, if you are here, amen, you never have accepted Christ as your person to save you. Today is a good day. Amen. This morning is a good day. While the blood is running warm in your veins. Amen. You need to make a decision. Somebody say, I decided. I decided to follow Jesus. Amen. I decided to make him my choice. If you have never made him your choice, why don't you make him your choice today? And say, Lord, I want to follow you. I want to follow you because, Lord, I've been following the wrong people. I've been following the wrong things. But I want to follow you. If you want to follow Jesus, you got to say, Lord, please forgive me. Have mercy on me. God, you know my heart. You know my thoughts. And if you say those things and you remain, you mean it from your heart, God will. He will come in. And God will settle everything. He will settle with you right now. He said, come son, come daughter. Come my child. I've been waiting for you because I got a job for you. I know you've been fishing and I know you've been following others for a long time. I know you've been up sometimes and sometimes you've been down. But come to me and I'll turn it around for your good. If you're here this morning, you never have accepted Christ as your Savior, amen, you want to give your life to Christ, why don't you come and meet me? Why don't you come and meet me? Amen. In this parking lot this morning. Yes, God is everywhere. He's in the parking lot. He's in the cars. But if you never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, amen, today, all you got to do is say, I want to follow Jesus. And where he leads me, I will follow. Amen. And Shaq will give us. Amen. Everyone, we open the. The doors of the church. All open. There will be one. to follow Jesus today will you come will you come to give God your heart will you come and say Lord here am I I need thee oh I need you I have decided to follow you will they be one Say amen. Shall we pray? God, we have did what you have allowed us, assigned to our hands. We thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us this morning that 
God, when we come into your presence, God, we know that our lives will not remain the same. So we just want to thank you. And before we close this service this morning, God, we want to thank you for being a good God. We lift up our sisters and brothers this morning, standing in the need of prayer. Lord, so much is happening in our world. But we know you who is in control. We know who is in the boat with us. God, thank you. We pray for our members, those that are homebound, that, Lord, wants to be here, but you know their conditions. So, Lord, I thank you. I pray that you would touch their hearts and touch their minds and remind them, Lord, that this too will pass. Lord, I ask you to strengthen them where they're weak and build them up where they're torn down. I pray for God. Hallelujah. Each member in the body of Christ. I pray for those in the hospitals and those that are homebound. Oh God, give them strength, give them faith, and give them courage to know that God, they can hold on to you, and God, you will hold on to them. And Lord, I pray for our community. I pray for our church families. I pray for those that are far in there, like that you will have mercy upon them. Now, Lord, as we get ready to leave this Bethel spot, but never from your presence, help us to take your word with us and help us, oh God, to be, Lord, the stewards of your word. Now, Lord, remember God. Remember those out on the battlefield. Remember our nation. Remember Oh God, our leaders, those on the front lines, men and women giving their service to help humanity wherever help is needed. So God, thank you for those warriors. Thank you for those, oh God, that are standing in the gap this morning. We lift them up in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would give them strength Oh God, to hold on and to continue to carry on the good works. Help them to know that when we follow in your steps, God, hallelujah, we know that God will follow in the right steps. And we know that payday is coming one day. So help us, Lord, to work while in this day, because when night comes, no man can work. So we just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you're doing for us all across this nation. And now, Lord, we pray for, oh God, our people, our United States of America. We pray for, God, our election that is coming up, Lord. We pray for those who have already voted, and we pray for those who haven't voted. But help us, oh God, to know that God is important. This election is important. And we need God. We need somebody. Somebody, God, who knows to call on the name of the Lord in times like these. Help us, Lord, to be faithful stewards. Help us, Lord, to continue to watch as well as pray. And then when we can't pray for one another, when we can't lift one another up, God, when we have to leave this mount of privilege, God, and go back down in the valley, God, be with us. Surround us and keep us in your care until we meet again. Now, to him who is able to keep us falling and present us faultless before thy throne. Now may your grace, peace, love abide with us now, henceforth and forevermore. Let the church say, Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Go in peace.